In this video, I want to remove my dependency on CocoaPods and instead use Swift Package Manager. This is totally optional, but I'm all in for using Swift Package Manager whenever I can, and it's so much easier to deal with. Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and this video is part of a Firebase Login with SwiftUI series update. And if you want to follow along, you don't have to have completed the code that we did on the previous video where I fixed some bugs and convert the UI view representation of the sign in with Apple button to the native Swift UI version. However, the procedure I follow here will be the same no matter what the project is. So if you've landed here for that purpose only, sit back and watch and you'll learn what you need to know. Now, before I get started, let me request that if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you ring the bell to be notified of new videos. And if you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee. If this is something you want to learn, then keep watching. Now, first of all, I'll need to deintegrate CocoaPods. This means remove it entirely from my project. To do this, make sure you've first exit your Xcode project completely and make sure that you can locate your project folder. At the same time, open your terminal application and CD change directory to the location of your project folder. Now you'll have to make sure that you have the CocoaPods deintegrate utility installed. So I'm going to type pod deintegrate. And for me, it churns through and it does its job. If you got an error, you can use this code sudo gem install cocoapods deintegrate cocoapods clean, and then you can run pod deintegrate. This, as I said, has removed all the pods from my project. So next, I'm going to clean the cache by issuing the command pod cache clean dash dash all. With that done, I can now delete the workspace file and I'm going to launch Xcode from the Xcode project file instead of the old workspace file. And I'll come back to the profile and podfile.lock files in just a minute. Now you'll notice that the pods folder is now red and that's because we've removed it. So it's safe to delete it now. Our dependency on CocoaPods has now been removed. However, we still need Firebase, so we'll need to install the equivalent using Swift Package Manager. You can go to this link and I'll leave it in the notes below. And it's a link to find out how to install it using Swift Package Manager. Now I'll walk you through it, but all you really need to know is that you have to copy this link. Return now to Xcode and choose File, Swift Packages, Add Package Dependency, and paste in the URL. Click on Next, and this may take some time to resolve and fetch the packages, so be patient. Once the list of packages have been displayed, you'll need to select the ones that you need. And this is why I left that pod file still in my project folder. I'm going to return there and I'm going to open it in text edit and I'll see that I had included three different pods, analytics, auth, and firestore. So I'm going to return back to Xcode and the list of packages available and select those three there. And finally click on finish. This adds them to our project. Now, once your project is finished indexing and processing the files, we should build and run to see if it actually works. I can log in as one of my users and see that I can connect. If you can, you're done. Don't worry about any of the console errors being shown. One final thing, you no longer need the pod file and podfile.lock files. You can return to your project and completely delete the pod file and podfile.lock files as you no longer are dependent on them or any third-party framework in this case.